Alright, let's see it. Going with the back 2 2, open it up. Gem already pushing to that balcony. Back 1 1 to get away. Trying to get the grab, but not quite. Balcony is broken. Gonna use that heat smash. Spend a heat dash, or a heat uh, burst. Spend to a heat dash. Getting caught low on that counter hit. Going straight to round two. Down back 3 3 strings. Caught pressing on that string. Giving her health back. But the kindness not reciprocated. It's alright. Back 2 2 is gonna be coming in hot. Got that heat engager. Straight into Dragon 5. Staying patient. Floating out, but uh, maybe not the the combo filler we were looking for. Bending that heat smash. Going for back 2 1. Getting blocked and punished. Checked low. Punishing that Matterhorn, getting heat. Down jab. Try to keep her honest. Back 2 2 coming in a hut again. No break, that's got a floor break. At the basement. Spending that heat smash. DTX gem taking that first match. Straight back to Ortiz Farms. Good step, but not quite the punish we were looking for. Jacob, staying patient. Landing that back 2 2. Trying to catch her ducking, but to no avail. Getting that grab. 2 2 again. Uh, nope, didn't catch. Got the punish, very good. Round two. Fight. And these back two twos working more often than not. Um, Gem, and not seeming to be willing to uh, try to duck them. Probably just kind of waiting for the back two one to come out for a better punish. Gem is on set point here. Back dashing away, trying to make some space. Force a whiff. And that should be it. Uh, uh, no. Okay, uh, yeah, it was. I was correct the first time. So I try to, you know, keep that in mind. Choose a heat still. Round four. Fight.
Alright, we'll uh, run that one again. Do it again. Oh, I didn't stop sure I had that. I got some support in the chat. Thank you, Jacob. Stand patient, very good. Oh, the good trade. Favorable for me. I got her out of the chance, although that's always good. Oh, I messed up the buttons. Oh, went over the low kick. I didn't realize I was gonna get a float there. Oh, 
Oh. I stood up a bit too early. That's a shame. Got that parry. All right, GG's. I think I like wall blasts better. Official terminology be damned. All right, go for that big hop kick of the hop knee. Back to two. We don't. We don't want these frames. We don't want to deal with them. Just get the chainsaws out, you know. Don't have to worry about those anymore. Back to two again. And again, uh, Jayco not letting those chainsaws do any damage. Not afraid to press. Caught Zen and pressing a bit too early. And back to two, coming through again. And then he he stabs himself. Perhaps a sign of solidarity. Slamming her head right into Yoshimitsu's sternum. Get that heat. Jayco committing to the back 2-1. Into the heat smash. Try to pressure out the wall there. Good punish on the hop knee. Back to the wall. Definitely not a place you want to be. Zenim tying it up 1-1. Trying to open up that power crush. Open cheap press. And I'm getting a lot of value out of those chainsaws there. Good whiff punish. Into the heat engager. Taking some life back. Caught pressing. Trying to whiff punish. And again, uh, Jayco is really just uh, creating these false whiff situations. But Zenim able to pull the round back anyway. Bringing it 2-1. to one. Caught pressing on that, uh... Wow! What a maneuver! A bit of a slow move there. Getting caught out. Do it again. Power crush. Get the chainsaws out. Back 2-2. Two, two. Get the chainsaws away. But the chainsaws are back out. Making sure to keep him out. Finishing out the string and catching Jayco off guard. Bringing it up 1 0. Alright, so we're running it right back. low on that power crush. Alright, just throw that out there. But the gamble did not work out. Is Zenim opening strong with the perfect? Staying patient on the power crush. Caught on the back 2-2. Two -two. Probably trying to... Um, I don't know. Caught on a standing 3. Back 2-2 two, two again. And the force of danger with back 2-2 two, two is that while it is duckable and put Whoa! Just caught on that, uh... On that short heat, uh... Heat burst. Alright, taking the health back. There wasn't really much health to take, but hey. Now you're at full health. Trying to do some flea shenanigans. Bending that heat smash. Normal grab this time. Jayco getting a perfect of his own on the board. Bring it up 2 1. Back 1 1. Alright, chainsaws are out. Alright, the trade at the very least getting the chainsaws away. Jayco going to no sword stance.
All right. Tried to fake him out, but getting caught with a heat smash because of it. Going to Dragonfly. That floated out. Looks ready for the combo. And close out the heat smash. Zenim on set point. But of course, Draco also a point away from tying up the uh, rounds. Both of them trading until finally Jayco able to get back 2-2 two, two off. Alright, the trade. Keep those chainsaws out. But the call out with the heat smash. Alright, going into play. Trying to jump over the uh, the rockets. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, that's one way to do it. Round one. Round Up. It's all right. We can recover it. Round four. Nice. Oh no, that's not what I was looking for. It's all right. It's all good. Could have ducked it. I failed to do so. Uh, 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 uh. That's a floor break. Say hi to the hand. Oh, the counter grab. Oh, why did you cancel it? No! You had some good frame advantage if you just committed to it. Nice. Good duck on the grab. Oh, uh, too far away to punish. It's alright. It's all good. Caught me ducking. Try right, trying to get a bit fancy on me. Hey, it worked. Oh, I, I did that wrong. Get a hit on that hard floor break. Oh, damn, that went under the mid. That's crazy. At that time, you should have canceled it, though. Alright, cool. Oh, no. That bit too late, I think. Delay it. There we go. Why do I keep messing things up? I'm I'm foolish today. All right, into the mix-up. Got caught up on that. I'm on set point here. All right, punishing that. Very good. 
Don't let me get away with the silly stuff. Oh no, that was so close to being good with punish. Oh, and caught on that springboard. GG's gem? Uh, Probably not going to be uh, back dashing away. Or making that distance enough for us to really see any of that wall trap. Midnight got that first match, but uh, Donnell looking really strong now. Sometimes a, a single round is all it takes to really warm up, and then you can start seeing uh, the real level of someone's uh, strength. That tempo away. Big risk on that low. Maybe could have uh, gotten a more dangerous punish, but Midnight taking that risk again and capitalizing off of it. Got grabbed out of back tempo. Staying down. But getting punished for that. Alright, heat smash. Good break on the grab. There's a launch that should be dead unless Midnight... Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. Donnell is taking this first match. And it happens to everyone where you throw out a move just so you can get something going. Some kind of momentum. And you might not be prepared for when it hits. Or you might have uh, two different combo routes playing inside your head. And you just can't decide on one quick enough. Alright, Donnell. Starting off with a big heat engager. But Midnight not letting him uh, get that started. Alright, spending that heat smash, getting some of that health back, that recoverable health. Midnight got a heat engager. Again, grabbed out of that back tempo. Alright, what's the 50-50? Donnell using that rage art to catch Midnight again. Throwing out a big move there. Good break. Bending that recoverable health. Good break again. Low getting counter hit. That throw. Catching the power crush. Can't break that. Back tempo away. Alright, being a bit patient on the approach. Trying not to do anything too dangerous, but Donnell still finding that opening anyway. Getting some pretty good combo damage there on the board. But Midnight perhaps finding another foothold. Donnell realizing that uh that heat is still on the board but midnight able to get that round not letting donnell take it all yet nice block Oh, there's the Rage Art again, but not going to be quite as effective this time. 
still gonna, you know, change the momentum a bit. Get a good chunk of damage on the board. But also, Donnell still has heat. And that is definitely not something he is um, unfamiliar with. But getting caught out of that heat burst. Or the yeah, the heat burst. Alright, back transferring away from that low. Trying to get away from the 50-50. A little back and forth for Donnell finds a launch. Getting a bit of damage on him. Punishing the shoulder. Small punish on the hop kick. But sometimes a small punish is better than no punish at all, especially if Donnell decided to make it safe. Call with Power Crush, Heat Engager. Now, uh, Midnight needs to be very careful here because, of course, that Heat Smash from Jun is still available. That, that was a big error. That's embarrassing. It's like what I was talking about before, when you have uh, two ideas in your head, and you can't let one win out fast enough. Uh, that's hurtful. Gotta stay ducking. He went for the full string. And I will say about Donnell, uh, definitely a guy who plays uh, characters that aren't typically grapplers as grapplers. He uses his grabs very, very often. Definitely something unique about his playstyle.
All right, going into that heat. Just keep doing it. Oh no. Raven, you gotta work on your combo consistency, buddy. I'm trying my best here. You gotta work with me. Alright, good games. Speed up a bit first. So I'm out of horn in there. Right here. Little break on the ground. That's a lawn. Should be it. A lot of back and forth action here, but we're finally caught up. One, one, two. All right. Getting heat in there. Frosty Dad, the heat engager. Brings Frosty Dad two rounds up. Nice block. But Gem, not respecting those frames, ready to challenge at a moment's notice. Alright, a sliver of life and all it takes is a jab. Frosty Dad up 1 0. Alright, looks like we're gonna. See a, an opportunity to switch up the stage a bit. Let's see what we got. we got going on where are we gonna go get ready for the next battle see a switch to Azusena It's one of those things where you guy you kind of got to see where it uh, where it goes and how it works out. I was just saying, a definitely a very very strong character, um, but is it a character that Gem is as comfortable with? Is a is an equally important question to ask, of course. As we wait for the load in. Alright. Start off the heat engager. Looks like Frosty Dad's gotta try to keep that pressure going. We'll run down that heat and uh, that heat clock. Gem yeah, finding a launch. Yeah, taking that first round. Gem pushing over to the wall. 
still haven't seen any floor damage quite yet. Over the wall. Uh. And the heat smash. Bringing Frosty Dad over to set point. Nice duck. The parry. Alright. Heat burst through. Nice block. Parry again. I'm going for that rage arc, but not quite. And Frosty Dad closing it out. Here we go. Stage looking bright as can be. Looks like Ace is starting off strong. But Reggie not letting the momentum get away. Got a launch into the Rage Arc. Smash. This round is looking very strong. And Ace taking a, a clean uh, a clean 3 0 for that first match. But they're gonna go uh gonna go back. Maybe switch off of Fang, if I had to guess. Yeah, we didn't even get to uh, we didn't get to escape the fast forward. Get ready for the next battle. No, we're out of Dragon of instead. Reggie seemingly has many characters. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, to watch this one in normal speed, at least a bit. And on that load in. Right, here we go. What is that, a Cyclops custom? I think. Alright, getting that uh, recoverable health back with Heat Smash. But, Reggie able to, you know, clean it out anyway. Alright, here we are, normal speed. Nice low parry. Staying down, getting away from that heat smash, very good. That instant running two, blue sparks. Uh uh. Uh. Look at the damage. But of course, a lot of that is recoverable. And Ace, realizing that, just pops that Heat Smash. Look at that step into grab on that Heat Smash. Nice step and down forward two. Looks like we're going to be getting that balcony break. What's the follow-up? What's the option? Ace getting a round up. Not out of it yet. Back three. Going over the low. 
All right, down jab. Try to break that pressure. No break. Got some good OP situation here. Popping heat. The can cans both connecting. Alright, side splat. Maybe shortening up the combo a bit. Reggie tying it up one to one. We're going right back into it though. Alright, good block. But low parry. Better than a block. Running two into running two. And the crazy wall carry. Dragon of able to pick up so much damage. Getting clipped by Can Can. Alright, good break. Those instant wall running twos. Alright. Heat smash through it. On set point. And uh, Ace definitely playing a bit more carefully, knowing that any launch carries a lot of damage behind it. Nice. Good good um, back handspring to get away from that heat smash. Answering back with a heat smash of his own, but we're gonna. Oh no! Drop the combo off of the, uh, off the balcony break. We're getting caught with the down forward one. And that'll close it out. Reggie moving forward. Gonna be, gonna be. All right, let's see. User starting pretty strong with the offense. Both of them in heat. Seem to be swinging for the fences here. Baited out the Rage Heart. Nice low parry. Alright, back to normal speed. Chainsaw is definitely the biggest danger that Elise opposes. You know, we're gonna see a lot of a uh, a lot of game plan focusing around getting those chainsaws out and that pressure started. Get caught on the delay. Right, jab out, not letting that pressure uh, not letting that pressure come through. All right, heat smash. Man, heat smash. No break. What's the Oki? Tying it up 2 2. And no punish on that. Trying to go for a grab instead. Power crush heat engager. Getting pushed over to that dangerous wall. Yep, here we are. That's a lot of damage. That heat dash for some added pressure. Use Rook taking that first match.
trying to get that pressure started. Nice duck. Call press on those chainsaws. Nice. And Zenim's defense looking a lot more confident now. Our crush through, but the armor did not activate in time. That one did, however. We got the chainsaws out. That heat engager. Nice. No break on the grab. Then that heat smash into the mix up. Zenim up 2 0. Nice spring kick. What are we going to do with the frames? Uh, not quite getting the grab. But we got the heat engager. Gotta get that pressure started. Call it pressing. Call it standing. The grab connecting that time. Here's the OP. User getting a round up. Power crush. Be pressing there. All right, tying it up and user on set point. And user delays, catching Zen very often. And a heat dash to the wall. Here comes the damage. Stomp the feet. Do it again. Using a five hit to close it out.
gonna get started here. Fast forward through a few of these rounds, no doubt. Right here, I take that first round. Donnell popping heat already. Carrying over to the wall. Heat smash, get it perfect. And back at normal speed. Heat smash again. Just do it. Good duck. Throwing it out. Kind of keep him from pressing. It is, of course, you know, the heat of the, or the, uh, the threat of Jun's heat smash that keeps people in check very often. But Fang's heat, no laughing matter either. Is that gonna, yeah, that's not enough to tank. Tied up 2-2 in the first uh, match. Donnell landing that counter hit. Good break. And these counter hits are coming in hot. Now Reggie, of course, having to deal with the threat of Heat Smash is going to be way less aggressive. That allows Donnell to move in a bit more aggressively. Shout to Chibi Fox Gamer for the Tier 1 sub. Let's see. Last time we were in this situation, we did see... Now, uh, Reggie, switch off to Dragonov. Maybe it'll be the same this time as well. Get ready for the next battle. No, we're going back to the Fang. Or sticking with the Fang, rather. And probably just wanted to uh, random select the stage again, but unfortunately, brought right back to the Coliseum of Fate. Back into it. The heat dash to close it up. Donnell getting the heat engager. Seeing that counter hit land. For some big damage, too. Uh, you can't step that too much. You have to be at max range in order to step or heat smash. Alright, good break. No break on that one, though. Bringing it 1 1. Both these players' defense improving game after game as they get used to each other's rhythms. Caught out of the air. No break on that. And again, the float. 
and maybe not getting a combo out of it, but definitely finding a heat engager. No break there. Oh, not spending any uh, any of that heat meter to make it safe. But it's alright, because no punish came through. Good break. Alright, spend that heat dash. Get that pressure up. Two lows to close it out. Reggie tying it up one to one. Alright, we're going to see a change from Donnell as well. I'm not sure if Donnell has characters other than Jun in Tekken 8. I know he did play a bit of Brian in Tekken 7. Get ready for the next battle. But nope, it is just a, a stage switch. Bringing it to secluded training ground. We're going to see a lot of wall breaks, of course. Kind of like a two-way Howard Estate. Starting off strong here. No break. And the wall being right behind Donnell is definitely unfavorable. Reggie looking way more comfortable there. Bring it up two to one. Say we're probably going to see another stage switch. Yeah, um, so I think Lobby is always a, uh, a random select. And this is mostly, to my understanding, uh, this is mostly because of how the Tekken 8 tournament standard rules have changed. Where instead of picking a stage, uh, the loser can either uh, select a character or just random select a new stage. So, uh, no longer will there be uh, counter stage picks in tournament play. It seems that the Tekken 8 standard now is to just uh, is to just have random select be your uh, your option. Sentence of consciousness. Let's see how many floor breaks we'll be using. Alright. One hit down. 
Second hit to the floor break. Getting over to the wall, check the damage off of a throw. Insanity. Nice break. Getting some of that recover or all that recoverable health back rather. Spending the rage art. Reg ready for it. And Reggie on set point. Good break. And that's a good punish right That could have been more dangerous. The parry into the shoulder. Heat engager. Good break. Here we go. Say hi to the hand. And Reggie. Get to the fast forward part first, of course. Eat smash. Closing it out. Back at normal speed we are. And Donnell spending a lot of that uh a lot of that recoverable meter. Nice break. Dangerously close to that balcony break. It's a good good break on the grab, but it also gives Dino good repositioning. Five seconds left. No break on the grab. I don't think it's enough though. Will that be it? Just barely enough. By a percentage. Getting two rounds on the board. Heat engager. Got an sanitation. With that heat meter running out. Spending that heat smash, of course. Get some of that recoverable health back. Nice duck on the grab. Good break. And Donnell, not enough health to tank that. Frosty Dad, poking down. Trying to get back on the good foot. Finding a launcher. Side splat though. Messing up the combo. Alright, good break. Spending that heat smash, get the recoverable gauge back. Only to have it brought right back down. I don't think that's gonna be an Okay, well. I mean that that can also happen. No break on the grab. No break on the grab. Down jab. Trying to keep that pressure up. Keeping Donnell from pressing the key charge. These health sweeps. Really piling up. No break on the grab, but a lot of health to uh, to make up the difference for. And again, no break on the grab. 
kind of read the wake up. The rage art again, but there was no button pressed. Frosty Dad with another key charge. And the Reina special outro with Jun. Reina naturally uh, not a fan of Jun because she has that power to suppress the devil gene. The very thing that Reina wants to awaken in her. Yeah, I did think, I thought that Jun would be, um, would have a bigger role to play, though. She did get her own, uh, character episode. And it was alright. It was decent. But I feel like Jun's, uh, real story will be in Tekken 9. So, uh, it won't be happening for a while, I imagine. Uh, favorite arcade character ending? Uh, um... I mean, Reynos was pretty funny. I, I enjoyed that. Jones was nice. In, like, a, a very wholesome kind of way. Kazuya's was good. I, I think these characters... I like a lot of them. They were way better than Tekken 7. It's not a very high bar to cross, but a lot of these did have a clear tear put into them. No break, or uh, that one's unbreakable actually, you have to duck that one. Finding that launch immediately. That got the wall. Maybe not the combo that we were looking for. Frosty Dad might be starting to pick up on Donnell's grab patterns. We'll have to see. However, Donnell finding that uh that counter hit. Gonna pop heat, get that wall carry. Alright, heat smash. But the hell sweep will close it out. Bringing Frosty Dad up to nothing. Looks like Donnell will be taking advantage of the uh, random select stage feature. Or maybe just trying to break some of Frosty Dad's momentum. You know, take a moment to, to cool it down, take a moment to think it over. Always a valid option.
right, let's see. Can Donnell bring it all the way back? Let's back on Orphy's farm. Where we started at the beginning of the set. Nice little punish. Got clipped by the string. Hop kick into the balcony break. We still have a tornado spin available. But we're not going to use it. Finding the heat engager. Good break on the grab. Donnell up to nothing. Looking much more confident, looking way stronger here. Yeah, it's finding that heat engager though. The pressure over the wall. That's gonna floor break. And look at all that damage piling up. Frosty Dad getting around on the board. 1 1 2 into the mix up. Heat engager's up. Of course, Donald could have used some of that heat meter to uh, make that safe, but it's all good. We're gonna conserve it. Breaking the grab. Spending heat smash. Nice duck. And that life bar equalizing very quickly. All right, good break. Eight seconds left. Both very close in health. Anything can do it. And a blocked low. Brings Frosty Dad up to set point. Right, there's a good punish. The break, but of course... Now, Frosty Dad's back is to the wall. And that is a dangerous wall to have your back to. Got clipped on that step. Going up and over. Heat smash. On whiff. The mix up. And, oh, that wasn't quite the whiff punch we were looking for. But it's alright. Donnell getting a round on the board or a match on the board. Key charging back. And we're going to switch the stage again. Get ready for the next battle.
Waiting for that match to load in. All right, here we go. Let's get to the fast forward part. And I'll pack on a lot of damage at the very beginning. Taking that first round. Frosted at answering back the round of his own. Got caught again on that step. The string clips. Alright, ready for that float. Gonna get that conversion. The springboard though, a very good option. No break. Now, two rounds to one. Looks like I'm getting caught out of the uh, heat burst. We're getting it here. Spending that heat smash before it's gone. No break. What's the OP? Forward two. Got a break there though. And that heat smash. That's a low. Sliver of health left. Dial and need to play uh, a bit more carefully. And a ducked jab. Frosty Dad back on set point. Nice block on that health sweep. Probably could have gotten a bit of a bigger punish though. Interrupting that health sweep. Another break, but Donnell gonna be popping that heat. Probably just gonna be looking for that opportunity to heat smash and quickly losing it, finding it again. The the uh, air uh, scaling definitely saving Frosty Dad's life there. But the pressure ended up being too much, and Frosty Dad. It did feel like we were waiting a long time. Uh, curious to see if any guest characters are coming. I could see them bringing a guest character in. Kind of. But I don't think it's going to be for a while if they do. I think there are probably just so many legacy characters for them to bring back. They're likely going to want to focus on those first. Because remember... Um, the whole reason we had so many guest characters in Tekken 7, outside of Negan, was because, like, they didn't expect to be able to go past Season 1. So Season 1 and uh, launch Akuma, we're kind of there to hopefully bring some more attention to the game from uh, the fans of other franchises, and it worked. You know, we definitely, uh, we definitely saw some value because uh, the success of Season 1 meant that Season 2 got us a bunch of legacy characters and I think the popularity kind of snowballed from there. Yeah, Akuma is part of Tekken lore. Very loosely, mind you, it's kind of uns very uncertain as to where he really stands, but... Alright. No break on that. Power Crush, spending Heat Dash, just keep doing it. The exhilarating combo route, 
Reggie up 2-1. I don't think the world is ready for Tekken 8 system Akuma. Alright, getting a launch. Ooh, the uh, E burst did not connect. Rocky Dad getting the back. Spending that heat dash for some plus frames. Going with the low, very scarcely seen Ender. Alright, Frosty Dad taking that first round. Nice timing adjustment there. Catching Reggie off guard. There's a big launch. Reggie getting a round up on his own. Fang definitely no slouch when it comes to heat. Nice, but not the punish. I thought for sure that was going to be a launch. Good break. And another one. I feel like we have been seeing... Far more grabs across the board in Tekken 8 than we ever have in Tekken 7. And that Rage Art should do it. Bringing Reggie over to tournament point. Can Frosty Dad fight back? We see that. We see that point on the board, so we know it's possible. But of course, momentum is a very real thing in Tekken. Alright, there's the mix up. And deep. No break. And that'll do it. Reggie is your tournament champion.